Hi. In case you may have missed it, I tend to talk about the PlayStation VR every now and again. It's a pretty popular subject right now in the gaming business, and one that I am deeply passionate for. And some of the most reoccurring comments I see throughout all of my YouTube videos are always, where is this game, where is that game, and you forgot about this game, and you forgot to mention that game, and I can't believe this one didn't make it to the video. And so, since I keep seeing comments like that at nauseum, I would figured I'd bring you a list of some of the greatest games that are either currently available, or slated for release for the PlayStation VR headset. Now, before we begin, keep this one teeny tiny little fact in mind. This is not a ranked top 10 style games list at all. This is simply a compilation of all the previously mentioned games put together in alphabetical order from beginning to end of the video. And so, without further ado, let's begin. Astrobot Rescue Mission. SIE Japan Studio has a history of producing great games for new PlayStation hardware and peripherals, from Ape Escape taking advantage of the dual analog sticks on the original DualShock, to Gravity Rush showing off the potential of the PlayStation Vita. Astrobot has been called by some as the Mario 64 of VR platformers, and this game is a thrill to play through, and won the Best VR AR Game Award at the 2018 Game Awards show. Beat Saber. Power on your red and blue lightsabers and get ready to slash away at tons of blocks to the beat of the music in Beat Games' virtual reality hit, Beat Saber. This is perhaps one of, if not the most demanding titles I see in any of my PlayStation VR videos that I have somehow overlooked, probably because it's a digital-only title that never got a physical release. And while the game has been released on other VR platforms as well, it certainly is a blast to play through here on PlayStation VR. Blood and Truth SIE London Studio is probably best known for their SingStar series that have spanned multiple generations of PlayStation home consoles, but that doesn't mean that's all they know how to develop. Blood and Truth is proof of that. In this game you play as an elite special forces officer by the name of Ryan Marks, who's on his greatest mission yet, to save his family from the mobs of the London Underground in a game that was described by London Studio as a love letter to classic Cockney and gangster movies. Borderlands 2 VR Borderlands is often referred to as the original looter shooter, so when it was announced that the user and critically acclaimed Borderlands 2 was getting a VR port appropriately named Borderlands 2 VR, many people got excited as like many other games that you will see on this list, playing on a regular TV offers one kind of experience, but playing in first person in a VR headset offers a whole new experience in its own right, even if the game is already several years old. Add in the aim controller and you have an exciting new way to experience Borderlands 2 like never before with PlayStation VR. Bound VR Bound was originally released as a standalone PlayStation 4 title on the PlayStation Network, but was patched to work with the PlayStation VR shortly after the headset launched. As if the footage being shown wasn't telling enough, Bound isn't your typical approach to a video game. It's different, and the story unfolds as you dance your way throughout the game. Although it was released as a PlayStation 4 game originally, it is an example of a beautiful game that is only enhanced with its PlayStation VR compatibility, and it is certainly worth looking into for anyone who enjoys experiencing something that's a little different.
Doom VFR. When Bethesda isn't distracted developing and releasing half-baked live services like Fallout 76, every now and again they remind me and the world at large that they are capable of developing a game that's not only just functional, but actually fun to play through. Doom VFR is the perfect example of one of those titles that utilizes all three of the main control inputs available for the PlayStation VR. Blast your way through hordes of demons like never before in first person with a new, exciting, and immersive VR experience. Dreams by Media Molecule. From the creators of Little Big Planet and Tearaway comes a new experience that allows you to build anything and everything you can imagine, from interactive adventures and platformers to shoot 'em ups, puzzlers, and more. The possibilities are endless. Whatever you create, you can share with a massive online community where you can also browse other players' creations, remix them, or use their items, environments, and characters in your own games. Are you not sure where to start? Not a problem. Explore the action and adventure of Dream Story Mode where you play through three engaging tales in a dazzling showcase of what's possible with the game's powerful creation tools. Drive Club VR. Experience Canada's Fraser Valley or Japan's Serene Lake Shoji like never before with brand new features that include a cruise control mode that will let you take in the sights at your leisure and even a virtual passenger mode that will let you relive your best laps from the passenger seat of your favorite vehicle. With 114 tracks and nearly 100 iconic high-performance cars to select from, blaze along the straights and race to the finish line almost as if you're really there. Farpoint In this title by Impulse Gear, you set off on a dangerous journey into a hostile alien environment. You are stranded on an uncharted, unknown extraterrestrial world with only basic level equipment to keep you alive. Set off in search for the crashed space station called the Pilgrim and its remaining survivors in the attempt to find a way home. Firewall Zero Hour. Choose from one of 12 contractors hired by anonymous contract handlers and work as a team to either protect or obtain valuable data. Housed on a laptop and located in dangerous locations around the world. Each team's anonymous contract handler acts as their eye in the sky and guides each match by providing objectives and critical information along the way. Accomplish your objectives through highly coordinated teamwork, taking advantage of an arsenal of modern Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Help Wanted. Scott Cawthon's Five Nights at Freddy's games were a smash hit from 2014 to 2015. Everybody had either heard of them, seen someone play them, or had played them for themselves. And while the games were simple in nature, it only made sense to port them to virtual reality headsets. This game features ports of the first three games with some minor tweaks throughout that are all tied together in a brand new storyline with a new main antagonist. So are you ready to face the new terrors brought to you by Fazbear Entertainment? Ghost Giant Experience a new puzzle adventure from the studio behind Faye and Flipping Death. In Ghost Giant, you are the protector of a lonely little boy, Luis. Invisible to everyone but him, you explore his world and use your size to help him and the citizens of Sancourt. Ghost Giant circles around young Luis. He's living on a sunflower farm together with his mother. 
When the story starts, he is incredibly lonely, until he meets you, a giant friend that only he can see and who might be able to help him out of the tough spot he's in. Peek into windows, open doors, and find hidden secrets around the town. Sandcourt is full of discoveries for you to make and people for you to meet. Explore the harbor, Luis's sunflower farm, and the local junkyard to solve puzzles and help Luis and his neighbors with their tasks, big or small. Golem I'm going to be honest with you. Information on this particular title was scarce. So, let's quote the developer's website verbatim. You play as an adventurous kid who has been seriously injured. You are stuck at home in your bed, dreaming of exploring the outside world. You gradually develop the power to create and control stone creatures known as golems. You see through their eyes, direct their movements, and use them to explore beyond the confines of your room. At first, you can only build small, doll-sized golems to send around your room, but eventually your powers will grow, until you can send enormous 15-foot-tall giants to explore an ancient abandoned city. Job Simulator Alchemy Labs has undoubtedly created a cult classic with this title. This charming and comedic game is short in terms of its overall playtime, but it's just full of character that I found myself enjoying the multiple stages in the offices, restaurants, gas stations, and the mechanical shops that you will find yourself in. The whole premise is that the robots are now in control of the world and are trying to experience the day-to-day -day lives of the humans of yesteryear. This comedic take on the monotonous day-to-day -day lives of humans deserves a spot in anyone's PlayStation VR catalog. Open that safe. Holy smokes, this is way too loud. You've been doing a really good job lately. I think it's about time you got a promotion. Hooray, it's five o'clock. Woohoo, it's time to go home. Killing Floor Incursion From developer Tripwire Interactive comes a story-driven adventure game made specifically for VR. Explore this detailed and immersive world while fighting for your life with pistols, shotguns, axes, and even severed enemy limbs. Travel through diverse environments from creepy farmhouses to mysterious catacombs to uncover who or what is behind the Zed Menace and what the Horzine Company is really up to. But be careful for who you trust. You can choose to embark on this quest alone or with a friend in co-op. Ultimately, the choice is yours, but no matter what you do, just stay alive. A seizure. Do not die. That will not improve your situation. Things are getting serious. This virus is mucking up everything. Concentrate, Lieutenant! Stay with us! You will pay for every mistake in your life. Marvel's Iron Man VR. Not much can really be said about this game since it's still in early development and we only know that it's coming, but the small development team by the name of Camouflage has been tasked with developing a first-person action-adventure game starring Marvel's Iron Man. While I don't know much about the game's premise, the game itself looks visually stunning and fast-paced, so if you're a Marvel superhero fan, keep an eye out for this one, because it's exclusive to PlayStation VR. Moss. Polyarch is a developer that I have never heard of before the release of Moss, but after playing through the entire game and platinuming it, I can honestly say that they are a talented bunch of people. While Moss is a third-person platformer, the story unfolds page by page and makes you feel like you're really there experiencing the story as the pages unfold. No Man's Sky Beyond. 
By now, everyone who plays video games has either heard of or knows of the troubles that both No Man's Sky and developer Hello Games dealt with since this title's launch. But one thing that can be said is that this game has been completely changed and overhauled to deliver on the hype that they had initially promised. And the Beyond update is a part of that monumental change. Get ready to explore all of outer space and foreign planets like never before, but not with a television set, but in first person with your PlayStation VR helmet. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard what started off as a VR tech demo codenamed Kitchen back in 2015 has since been realized into a user and critically praised return to form for the Resident Evil series. On top of all of that, despite the game being a multi-platform release, the first person VR horror experience remains exclusive to both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation VR. So if you're looking for one of, if not the best, first person horror VR experiences, Look no further than Resident Evil 7 Biohazard by Capcom. Star Child After becoming stranded, Spectra and her companion uncover a hostile force that threatens to destroy everything. At a pivotal, startling moment, Spectra gains the ability to gradually take control of the world around her and fight back against the Force. Crash landing while on a mission to aid the Meridian family in deep space, Spectra and her repair crew partner King fight to get the planet's defense system back online before a dangerous alien entity completely destroys their world. Superhot VR Blurring the lines between cautious strategy and uncontrolled mayhem, Superhot VR is an interesting VR first-person experience in which time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed weapons or ammo drops, it's just you, outnumbered and outgunned, grabbing the weapons of fallen enemies to shoot, slice and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. Godspeed. Tetris Effect. The last time I mentioned the Tetris Effect in one of my PlayStation VR videos, I was met with overwhelming praise from the viewers. Not really. Anyway, Tetris Effect is an awesome game in its own right, but when you toss the PlayStation VR into the mix, it creates a whole new euphoric experience. You get lost in the world of the Tetrimos, and the space and time around you changes as you progress throughout the levels. Couple beautiful visuals with an amazing soundtrack, and you've got a recipe for losing track of time. Seriously, just take my word for this and go try it out. It's $20 here in the States. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR I feel like I should make a joke here about Bethesda porting Skyrim to anything and everything that could potentially run it, but I feel like that would be beating a dead horse. But if you're still a fan of the fifth Elder Scrolls game and you'd like to experience it in a new way, not on a TV or on a portable, then you certainly can't go wrong here, because like I had previously mentioned, playing games on a TV is one experience. 
Playing in first person in VR is a whole new experience, even if you've played the game before. And then, once you've beaten this game, you can either decide to play it again, or wait for the inevitable time for Bethesda to port the game to the next generation of home consoles and VR headsets. Your choice. The Persistence. Do you like sci-fi mixed with horror? Well, then do I have a great recommendation for you. Fire Sprites, The Persistence puts you alone in a first-person shooter on board a ship caught in the pull of a black hole. And on top of that, all of the crew have been mutilated into horrific and murderous aberrations. With nobody left alive except for you, it comes down to you to save the ship and make the jump back to Earth. This brutal sci-fi stealth horror experience features dozens of upgradable gears and weapons that may just be enough to keep you alive long enough to survive the persistence. Trover Saves the Universe From the co-creator of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, comes Trover Saves the Universe. Your dogs have been kidnapped by a beaked loon named Glorkin, who has stuffed them into the holes meant for his eyes and proceeds to use their life essence to destroy the universe. To save them, and the universe of course, you are partnered with Trover, a little purple eye-holed monster. Traverse through this comedy adventure filled with platforming, combat, and puzzles to save your dogs. Uh, in the universe, too, I guess. All right, and that's how we do it. Let's go. We must find the crystal of Ithacles. Partner, we gotta find the crystal of Ithacles. Until Dawn Rush of Blood. If you're a fan of old-school arcade-style shooting gameplay, then get ready for a terrifying descent into madness and chaos known as Until Dawn Rush of Blood. Arm yourself with anything and everything you can get your hands on to blast your way through hordes of enemies in a world full of things out to get you and scare you, all while riding a fast-paced roller coaster. Good luck. Vacation Simulator. Alchemy Lab's job simulator was a hit among VR users, so much so that a sequel was made, appropriately named Vacation Simulator. Set in the year 2060, after years of research from the robots to find out what else the humans did on Earth besides job. Their findings led to the creation of Vacation Island, with four main attractions, Vacation Island Resort, Vacation Beach, Vacation Forest, and finally Vacation Mountain, with plenty of things to do within each area. So, get ready to find your way to optimal relaxation in the newest simulation by Alchemy Labs. Wipeout Omega Collection The ultimate collection of Wipeout games from PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 3 have been brought together and remastered from the ground up in 4K for PlayStation 4 with PlayStation VR compatibility. Buckle up and start your engines because this one is one wild fast-paced racing game that will certainly put you either on the edge of your seat or on the floor for motion sickness. But if it's any consolation, this game is a blast to play through. Trust me. And that's it. Thank you so much for spending this time with me this evening and watching this video, and please, if you have the spare time, feel free to rate it however you see fit. In addition, if you found this video helpful at all, please feel free to share it with other potential PlayStation VR users, as there are so many great games here and beyond this list. As always, I would like to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for spending this time with me tonight, and as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But until then, take care.